Good day. Uh, this is James, uh, PSP Fitness and Sports Instructor at CFB Kingston. Um, and I'm uh, presenting today, today's video uh, topic is going to be a uh, mobility session. Um, so what we're going to be doing with this mobility session is more of a, a simplified uh, full body mobility piece. Um, so uh, it's going to be really simple, straightforward. We're only going to uh, really work on actually a couple uh, movements. Uh, we're going to do lots of cycles through um, to kind of work on those patterns and work some things out. So uh, again, it's a full body uh, mobility piece. We're mainly focusing uh, more so uh, lower body and midline, uh, with a little bit of upper body uh, work in there as well. Uh, so the two main things we're going to work on is we're going to have a quick uh, one piece. We're going to kind of cycle through some stuff with some uh, spinal mobilization. Uh, so. Spinal mobilization is a, an important piece to, to kind of look at. Um, yeah, spinal mobility and, and spinal movement, sorry, um, isn't really something you want to do under loaded pieces, but uh, it is something that is important to still have that ability to move through the spine, um, just kind of for day to day life as well as for um, health of that tissue. So we're going to work on some of that spinal movement, spinal mobility uh, with a couple of drills. And then the other piece we're going to work on is just a, a more encompassed uh, lower body. Um, stretching piece um, as well as with some uh, upper body elements to that as well. All right, so um, perfect. So this is kind of a follow-up class. Uh, so as we're going through, you can kind of follow along and I'll cue it through as we go. So we're going to start off again. So we're going to cycle through it uh, multiple times and kind of work the patterns in. So we're going to probably get uh, uh, five total rounds um, of the full series here as we go through. All right. So the first piece, our spinal mobilization piece, so you're going to do that from the ground position. So we're going to angle off this first one, we're going to do a couple different angles as we go through, so we've got lots of rounds. So we're moving through uh, two movements, um, uh, common yoga poses, we're going to be doing um, child's pose, which is a, a more of a flexion based position for your spine, and then we're going to be moving into an extension position of the spine, um, going into a cobra pose. So we're going to alternate between those two, uh, moving from child's pose into the cobra pose. We want to try and flow through and focus on that spinal movement. Um, we're going to cycle through that one uh, five times of each with a little brief pause. So you can start off kind of sit your hands up, push the hands out, and then push the hips back, holding this position just for like one, two, three, and then moving into that extension position. So we're going to do five seconds here. Extension to the cobra. We move nice and through, slow through those transitions. We feel out that spinal movement. We're going to run the fourth set here. Move the back and flexion, let that lower back round out. Extension, get some length of the spine here. This is the last one, give them a little extra pull, really stretch out, and the arm will move out. And then one more time to extension. Hands and knees body position and come back to all the So that's our first set there. So we got some five of each. Um, let's go to the second for a couple more times so we can get the feel on that one. We'll get a couple more sets. So um, our next piece, the, uh, the lower body with a little bit of upper body, we're going to be doing a um, spider man lunge with a rotation. So the spider man lunge kind of works on some hip flexion. The back leg, you get some hip flexor stretching. On the front leg, you move into some uh, internal rotation of the hip. Uh, and then the rotation of the arm on one side uh, works a little bit of that T-spine mobility through the upper back. So, to set this one up here, um, you're going to take the top of a push-up position. And then so from this position, bring your foot up beside the hand. So try to get that foot up as far as you can. Make sure it's nice and straight with the hand. And then the hand is beside the foot. Drop that elbow down to the floor. Rotate up. That's one. We're going to do five of these on each side. And 
And as you drop down, try and get that hip down nice and low. Stretch through the hip. Nice big rotation. Follow that hand up with your eye. And there's five. Come back down. Bring your head back down. So between each one. It's kind of helpful sometimes. It's a, sometimes a tricky position on your wrist. So uh, take a little pause between each one before switching to the other side. And then it's the same thing. Setting up again. Nice and tall. Push your position. Bring that foot up. Set the foot up nice and straight. And then again from here. Down, big rotation up. So again, we're doing five on this opposite leg. Again, open that chest up, rotate up. Position. And then just shake the, shake the wrist out a little bit. Again, just that tall plank position sometimes with the hold, you got a little dice in the wrist. So take that in between. So, you know, we're just stretching out a little bit here. So, um, you know, we're not looking for the physical challenge, we're not looking at that release factor. So, so that's our first cycle through. So, we're just going to cycle through those two uh, movement patterns and try and get on each one a little bit more movement in. So, um, We'll just change the angle on this one to create a little bit of a visual. So again, from here, reach the hands up, push the hips back. Then we're going to extension. Then you allow that spine to move through these two positions, moving from that extension and the flexion to get some of that movement. Cycle through here, we got two more. Again, this flexion up really let those hips push back, round the back out, get that stretch. One more time each here. Some extra pieces in there as well, um, but the primary with those is like that spinal mobility and the flexion. You kind of stretch out the lower back a little bit, and then extension. You're just moving the spine through some natural movement. All right. Okay. So on that second cycle through, uh, second cycle through on our lower body Spider-Man lunge with rotation. So again, we'll just change the rotation here for a different angle. So we'll go for a little bit of a side profile here. So again, tall posture position. So start on the same leg as before as the first leg, so the right or left, either one that's fine. Leg nice and straight, drop the elbow down, flow up, hand up to the ceiling, that's one. So we're going to do five of these rotations. When you're reaching up here, try to push that hip out, keep that knee in line, lift the toe. Just stop position for a sec there. Get that extra little bit of stretch. Okay, come back down. Get to the leg back. Again, take a little bit of a, a breather in between, let the arms rest for a sec. So, again, the thing with this one too is uh, try to bring that foot as hard as you can. So, you might not have the range to get the foot right beside the hand, just as far as you can um, with your range. And as we're going through all these drills, see if you can get that foot a little bit farther on each set. So, we're going to go to the other side here. Down, big rotation of the chest and the arm. Again, 
Last one here. Number five. Hold that up just for a sec. And then come back down. Step right foot back. Put that knee in position again. And just take that minute. You know, give a little bit of release on the hands. Again, um, myself, I find that, that, that tall position with that other flexion holding that for a while. It's a little tired. You get a little bit of uh, a twenty sometimes. So it's good to, to take that rest in between each one and in between the series. So. Cool, so we're two cycles through. Um, going to that third cycle. So um, as we're going through these next ones, we might make things uh, a little bit more flowy uh, to kind of create a little bit more movement. So uh, third cycle through, back to our spinal mobilization. Uh, we'll take this one from a front angle. Again, just get to see all those different angles uh, for you guys at home as you're viewing through to kind of give you a little bit of a different feel. You guys don't have to change positions. This is more just for the uh, viewership. So again, let the hips sink back, round out, really stretch those arms out, and then coming into that extension, creating that length through the spine. That's two, we're going to three, so again, we're going to five. So again, you're trying to get a little bit more range here, if you got it. You might be feeling a little bit more range, a little bit more ability to move. And this is four. I mean, if you need just the hands to move around, that's fine. And then one last here. Alright, 
So, uh, three sets in, two sets to go. I got a little bit of rest here. Um, so with that lower body drill, uh, what you're gonna get is that, uh, moving that hip into like some of that internal rotation, uh, stretching that out, and then we rotate, kind of force the hip into more internal rotation to get that extension. So uh, that's really important for just finding good hip positioning. And again, that's important uh, from a postural standpoint. Um, as well as for a lot of movement patterns, um, running, squatting, stuff like that. You need that hip internal rotation to be able to move those hips in the proper plane. So, so three in, uh, we're going to take two more cycles through. Um, so again, just change the orientation again for you guys to catch a little bit of an angle. So we're going to go through our spinal mobilization drill again. So we'll take it from 45 degrees this time. So again, moving into challenge pose to start. between those two spinal positions, flexion and extension. Again, feeling through that movement. That's the fourth one, we're going to go to five. So this is our last flexion, round it out. So on this one, 
Uh, instead of five per, um, we're actually going to do 15 per. Uh, so we're going to triple the volume, but we're not going to pause or anything. So you're just going to flow back and forth between flexion, extension, flexion, extension, no pausing, just moving between those two patterns, nice and free uh, and flowy uh, to kind of get that movement. So again, we're going to do 15 here. So again, so you can set up, just kind of starting off that child position and pushing it back. And again, we're just going to go into some nice flow here, moving back and forth between flexion and extension. There's two, so we're going to do 15. So each time, focusing on that movement, focusing on the movement of the spine. Go at your pace. Get those 15 in. There's five for me. Again, no real pauses or breaks on these ones. Maybe a brief in that end position, just kind of establish that position. Focus on some nice, easy breathing. So again, we're 15 total. Well, not 15. 30 total, 15 per position. So 15 flexion, 15 extension. And focus on the flow of that movement through the spine. Got two more here. So again, 15 of each. That's cool. Uh, let's take a little bit of a brief pause here. So if you're finishing up. So again, the goal on that one uh, was again we did lots more cycles um, to try to create a little bit more movement. So we took those first four rounds, established a little bit of extra mobility, and there we're just kind of trying to work it in with some movement by moving through a little bit more of a flowy sequence. So uh, hopefully those first four rounds help to kind of move things around a bit, get things loosen up so that you're able to do those flows. Um, that's an important kind of quality, right? Um, stretching is good, but you want to move through your patterns that you're trying to establish um, and see if you can get the nice and, and free flowing. So um, hopefully that felt free flowing for you. If it didn't, um, you know, next time you do this or if you work this drill, um, take a little bit more time to kind of loosen the patterns up prior and then try and get that flow going. All right, so um, that's a good way to kind of pry that one. So that was our flowy piece um, on the spinal mobilization. And now we're gonna do a bit more of a flowy piece on the uh, T-spinal rotation. So same sort of idea, um, spinal longitudinal rotation. You're gonna set up, we're gonna set up the foot, and then we're gonna do 10 uh, on each side. But again, we're gonna flow them a little bit more. So instead of those breathe pauses, you're just gonna drop up, drop up, just moving through the pattern, really nice and flowy, a little bit more um, tension purpose, and a little bit more, not to say speed, uh, just at a faster pace and like more um, movement based rather than with the pauses. All right, same thing, we'll take that 45 angle from the viewership. <clears throat> so again, starting off in that tall plank position, bring the foot upside the hand, get that foot set up nice and square before you release that hand. And now we're gonna move into that nice flowing pattern. So we're gonna 10 here. So you're gonna move through your pace. That's five. With a little bit more movement, less pausing. All right, and then for anybody that is pausing, just take that minute. And if you need to play a little bit of catch up, that's fine. Um, so we're going to run through on that second side here. So 
So again, set up in that tall push-up position. Bring the foot up beside the hand, step to that position. Get your hips nice and square. And into that.
again, just kind of options to, to go through as you, uh, as you progress. So hopefully that felt good for you. Uh, hopefully you got a little bit more movement as you go through. Uh, you know, another important thing, if you did go through this one, is to maybe do uh, just a little bit of movement stuff that you might find important, so it's squatting or whatever. Um, just kind of establish some positions, movement, see how it feels, see if it's gotten better, it's gotten worse. Um, and then you have some of the flowy stuff, that just gives you an idea of things to work on, right? So if you have a little bit of trouble with the spinal mobilization and moving your spine from the positions, it's a good thing to kind of practice to get some of that spinal movement. Uh, if you had some position, positional issues with the spine ground larger rotation, if you had trouble getting your foot up, um, again, practice it, move through, progressively try and uh, work that position to get it to a little bit of a deeper position as you go through. If you have to come with the T-spine, you do some extra, uh, some other stretching drills. So, uh, so, you know, speaking of that, there's tons of good content. Um, so, you know, if you're looking for other mobility ideas or stuff to help with some of those, um, take a look through the channel uh, and see, you know, if there's tons of other mobility uh, videos uh, you can kind of piece together and uh, find a good routine for yourself that will work. Um, and uh, just make sure that you do uh, take a look below and subscribe to the channel, um, you know, to get updates and to uh, take a look at all that content that is available. Uh, so again, full body mobility session today. Hopefully that helped out for you, made you feel a little better. Um, I am James, uh, fitness and sports instructor uh, with PSB here at CFB Kingston. Um, and again, hope you enjoyed the session and happy training. PSP Kingston, the health and wellness provider for the military community.